Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. James Billing here once again. First of all, sorry. I know it's been a few weeks since my last confession, since my last video. Um, so uh, apologies. Um, I've just been busy. Apologies. But we're back. Um, so it's a one track one company today. And very recently, I did a one track one library featuring the fabulous Elijah 2 um, by Sonoscore. Um, link above. So after that, I thought, do you know what, I'm just going to do the one track one company thing with Sonoscore and feature as well their fabulous flagship product, the Orchestra Complete. Um, now this is, I believe this version two, but this um, has their Strings of Winter and Horns of Hill as part of the package. So I've written a track and I've written it to this picture. For those that know me, I like fantasy and I like the whole, you know, Game of Thrones thing. And uh, I thought, uh, I thought it's about time that I wrote a fan fantastical fantasy epic hero thing. And what better picture to use than a, an attractive lady in fur with a sword? It's sort of Celtic-y, epic-y, hero-y, theme-y, computer game-y stuff. Anyway. If you want to listen to the full track straight away, just go to the minutes and seconds down below and you'll hear the full track in all its glory uh, featuring said lady. Um... But for those that are sticking around, I will show you the orchestra complete in a little bit of detail. And for those that want to see Elijah 2 in a bit of detail, just click the link below um, for the video previously or the link before. Anyway, I'll take you through this instrument and I'm saying it now. I love it. And I think Sonoscore have absolutely hit the nail on the head with who they're aiming it at and uh, what they're trying to achieve from it. But that's to come. So this is Sonoscore, this is One Track One Company, uh, this is Elysian 2, but mainly featuring the orchestra complete. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the orchestra complete, and you can see Elysian here. Um, orchestra complete, under it you have uh, your full uh, choices of your orchestral instruments. You have strings, brass, woodwinds, percussion, keys and harp, choir bonus. So this is obviously with the update, I think, of the orchestra complete recently. Strings effects, brass effects. Um, that's the original orchestra. So before strings of uh, winter and horns of hell and the extra little bits. Um, so obviously it comes in two main packages. So you get your, your core version and this is the complete version. Let's go straight in and put the Orchestra Complete 2 in all its glory straight in and you'll hear what it sounds like. Okay. Uh, let me just lengthen that so you can see it all. Um, there we go. There we go, right. Uh, straight out of the box, C major chord, go. Spread it. I mean, sounds good, right? Uh, here we go. This is your, uh, these are your presets here and uh, how to uh, navigate through them. Um, so this is the orchestra. This is Strings of Winter, Haunts of Hell and Users. So I'm going to just, oh, I don't know, pick Strings of Winter, Strings Full Winter Sustain. Are we ready? Ready? Yeah? Uh, Collegno, I like a bit of Collegno. So I'll just play you through a couple of presets. I mean, that sounds nice. That sounds Game of Thrones-y if ever. Oh, low Bartok pits. I like this as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Um, Horns of Hell. Everybody likes a very loud brass. Uh, strings of Winter. And, I don't know, mixed... Evil Marcato. Oh, hello. There we 
everybody likes the minus second Mercato. Wow. Yeah. Uh, brass and organ. By the way, the organ. Is, is a nice organ. Uh, if you want it more um, dramatic. Ah, evil, stabby, stabby. Um, anyway, um, I hope you get the idea. So uh, that's the library. Categories, orchestra colours, rhythms, and animated orchestra, which is the main meat and potato. So orchestra colours are basically uh, articulations, are marcatos, are sustains. Uh, rhythms are pulses, are arpeggiators, are look, battle rhythm triplets. Here we go. <laughs> And that is featuring a pre pre um, organized uh, sort of arrangement, uh, if you like, of what you've got. So you've got horn, tongue, staccato. You've got uh, tenor horn, marcato, timpani hits, trumpet, tongue, staccato, and evil brass staccato. And the green means basically where it is most optimum. So I'll just um, put it in the middle. <laughs> play it above in the blue just plays a couple of them down below some of them um, and I may as well just show you the GUI now before I get into the animated section so obviously these are the um, rhythms now you can assign well you can assign first of all anything to anything so you can choose strings brass woodwinds percussion keys harps which instrument so let's have I don't know a viola and spiccate, why not? Go to main, there it is. And if you solo it. So you get the idea. Now, you can assign, just I want to play spiccato on this. Or you can assign one of three arpeggiators to it. Here we go. And if you go to the engine, and you go to arpeggiator one, look at it. Note order. Up, down, zigzag, left, right, rate, sixteenth, triplets, quarters. The note selection. If I choose to play three notes, is it going to play all of them? The lowest one, the highest one? This is the lowest. Only. I want to have off. Oh, that's a bit weird. Yeah? And that, and that you can do blah, 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 blah. Anything you like. Um, and that's the arpeggiator. Um, you also have an envelope for some of them. Obviously, I think, as an, it's a spiccato, you don't get the choice. You can't really go swelly on a spiccato. So let's change the instrument. Uh, let's have woodwinds, flutes, sustain. And you have envelope two, or you have choice of envelopes. Let's go for envelope one. Go to the um, engine, envelope one, here you go. So it's obviously volume based. Yeah, time, change time signature. You can go double speed. Yeah, or half speed, normal. Um, uh, and that's fairly fairly standard. Oh, and also what you can do is you can shift them by the octave. So if I want to keep everything tight and play everything at the same time, I can change the octaves of all of these. So a flute, I'm going to put up. Up two, up two octaves. Let's have timpani hit. Well, let's have tongue staccato there. Eva brass two octaves down. Ready?
Well, that's a bit weird. <laughs> Better. That's <laughs> tongue is a bit weird. Anyway, um, uh, let's just show you another one. Battle rhythm, eight five eight. Great, isn't it? And you've got those, you've got horns, you've got non pitched drums, you've got hip timpani hits. So basically, you can choose any of these woodwinds, percussion, keys, harp, all of those, and they're all here if you want them separately. So, for example, I want to just play percussion, I want to play a Glock. I don't want to have the animator. Uh, there we go, there's my Glock. You have a little EQ on it, and this is this is the same across most instruments. Uh, low, high, uh, and then you have a reverb, and that's it. I mean, uh, cathedral mix going on forever, um, and that's it. I mean, let's just go strings, violins one. Um, I like uh, pizzicato. I just want the violins one's pits. Yeah, so they've given you every single articulation as a separate NKI. Oh, and you've even got um, uh, the Morin Cure High Ensemble, um, which are strings of winter. Uh, key switches uh, for um, articulations down below. Let me get back to uh, what got me very sillily excited and it's the animated orchestra um it's sort of pre-arranged excitement not all doing the same rhythms um instant cue um so let's go for it i want a uh, dramatic and five eights captured in the grave oh sounds very dodgy here we go C minor. What were you doing in the grave? Something very... Something very dodgy. Yeah. Um, dangerous depths. Well, if the grave wasn't deep. I like uh, hidden threats. I was just playing a C. I mean, that's an inspiration tool right there. I could, I could start the track like that. Right, we go C minor. Oh, um, so yeah, so look, you've got obviously the choice of arpeggiators envelopes around all of these to uh, modulate them. You can change the octaves of all of these. You can change every single instrument if you like that pattern. So if you like this, if you like that, oh, it's uh, the choir. Yeah, um, let's go um, strings, um, violin ones. Uh, pits. You can hear the choir more then. Uh, cello. Uh, let's have woodwinds, clarinets, staccato. So, and then let's put that on. Uh, I don't know what arpeggiator does, but here we go. Oh, right. So um, my point about this library is it is so inspiring. Um, if you need a cue done quickly, I'm, I'm fairly sure I said this with Elijah too, but if you need a cue done quickly, this is the tool. Now, this is where my heart feels um, incredibly happy as well, because Sonoscore 
and other libraries have done it, but not all libraries do it. Um, I see this as a hugely generous thing. They've incorporated a MIDI drag and drop. They're basically saying, if you like this pattern, but, but not our sounds, you can drag them out and get your other libraries to play them. Now, to me, that is generosity in the highest esteem. So, uh, Sonoscore, yes. So, for example, I love that, but I, I, I've I, got some other libraries that I want to play with. So, what I'm going to do is what I'm, um, is simply uh, record something. Or, yeah, actually, you can play something. Um, I'm just going to record this. Yeah, that's my terrible recording. And then uh, that's stored in here. And you just create um, five instruments, if you want five, because they're all playing. Drag and drop into your instruments down here. Boom. And then you can assign them to any, any instrument you want. That is generosity to me. That is basically saying we've created an engine and you don't have to like our sounds. Who does that? So this is my point about uh, their, who they're selling this to and who they're targeting. They are targeting people like me who want to be inspired instantly, who, who want to create quickly. So uh, a couple more treats for you. Your journey ends here. Does it? Oh, final rescue. Sounds like it's going to be dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it just makes me smile. It makes me smile a lot. Um, so I think I've talked about the engine. Um, you've got your choices of arpeggios and envelopes, and you can do what you like with them or you don't have to have them at all let's turn them off and if you were an octopus with eight arms and eight fingers do your own mess but anyway you get the idea um now the only other thing to explain to you is uh you've got your mixer out here you pan solos uh reverbs and you can assign their outs and, and this is what i did in the track you can pick all these and then decide what uh audio they go to or actual midi they go to uh you've got an equalizer a compressor a reverb and all of that and let's find something else um you get them in drop downs here calling the guardians Well, that's a cue in straight away. Oh, I really, really like this. I think this is probably one of the most um, inspiring things I've had in ages. Because um, it's, it's not only... Because not only have you got your instruments, you've got articulations, it's almost like uh, they're giving you preset phrases. It's like a phrase-based orchestra, but... Actually, you can change the phrases. And if you don't like the sound, you can get another library to play those things. I mean, generosity, thank you. I mean, it's just, yeah. Uh, one other thing to uh, mention, you've got them all in Maltese. <laughs> I mean, look at this, Hollywood action, let's go. Basic eights. Right, see, you've got two, two full banks of uh, strings, basic, sixteenths, battle rhythms, eighths in 5-8. I mean, right, okay. So you've got ten instruments at your fingertips. Ready, go. Mm -hmm. One more, Even, um, winter strings. 
Ready? How many have we got here? Just two, probably. Probably two, yeah. So again, 10 instruments at your disposal. Um, so what, so ladies and gentlemen, what I'll do is I'll play you the track now. And what you'll see when I talk about the track is I, I use multis, I use the animated orchestra, and I literally just threw it and then decided what I want to keep. But I'll show you it. Right, so this is my track. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, this is my track in all its glory. Uh, <laughs> it's quite a few tracks. Anyway, um, just so you know, I've got my strings in blue so I've just got my strings in blue uh, here. I've got my percussion in, as it were, black. I've got my brass in orange, uh, woodwinds in green. Not many woodwinds, I'm sorry. Um, my sequences or my pulses uh, for synths from Elijah in purple. Uh, my instruments, so pianos, cembalo, choirs or um, organ. Um, tubular bells, all there. Um, uh, Rises and stuff and effects in yellow. Pads from Elijah in blue. And that's it. So as you can see, just up here, I've, I've divided it up into sections. Um, and hopefully it'll become self-explanatory as we go along. So anyway, there's the lady. So this is celtic -y, epic -y, hero -y, with a touch of femininity. I hope. Um, so every now and then, um, I like to do, something. it's quite cheesy, but you know, I love cheese. Anyway, it's sort of epic, <laughs> it's sort of epic cheese. Anyway, um, that was the lady, um, sort of 
probably fighting off a dragon or getting ready to fight a dragon, getting, I don't know, getting on a horse. I don't know. It sort of, it, it had that vibe. The only thing I was wanting from the orchestra, so they gave me tubular bells, they gave me everything else. If they'd had a bagpipe, orchestral bagpipe. In fact, does anybody do an orchestral bagpipe or a bagpipe? I'm sure they do. I'll try and find one. Anyway, let me show you how I did that. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to my MIDI mess. Uh, this is how I came up with that thing. Um, so, as usual, I start literally by creating a sketch uh, with my old faithful MIDI grand. And I create uh, literally a chord chart. Sorry. Yeah, finale it goes. Yeah. So the first thing I started with was um, the uh, the first thing I played. I actually loaded up the Orchestra Complete 1. So I actually had it in my Orchestra Complete 1. And uh, this was this was it. So lots of strings, and this was the pattern, as you probably remember. Yeah, so I then uh, had a little bit of a pop going on with Men of War, which was this. And that's horn, marcato, double bass trombone. Yeah? It's fairly nice, isn't it? Um, now, underneath that, I thought, let's have a sequence. So, obviously, this wasn't quite in order. Um, but from the fabulous Elijah, I just had that this this thing running underneath it, um, which uh, I thought worked. Just in the background, it's quite nice, isn't it? And obviously this is mod wheel based. And I did do a lot a lot of uh, mod wheel shifting for these sequences because I liked them. <laughs> and then I had these uh, other sequences, which were... Uh, which was a, a terror pulse thing. So I played the same pattern that I had with the strings. And that was the idea. So that's that's my that's my theme, really. Uh, I had uh, a bass synth going on down here. This one just to give it a little bit of pulse. So those three. Yeah. Some pads. Um, and this was just this. It's just that to give it a little bit of, and then I did modulate it. Yeah, just a little bit of a pad pulse, cause yeah. When I changed key, I got this one involved. Here we go. Better stay hidden. So lots of pizzicato staccatos and some drums. Keep playing. Uh, as you probably noticed, I put in the choir because um, I left them. Together. Yeah, these are all, by, by the way, um, my uh, rises and effects. 
So look, brass and orchestral FX rises, strings FX rises, string FX crescendi, all of these. These are from Horns of Hell. You've got so many. I mean, you've got, oh, it just surprised. Uh, I love how much you've got in this. So this was um, rise strings. I mean, how cool is that? Uh, the next one, FX Crescendi. And by the way, with all of these, you can change the sample point. Oh, it's just so good. It's so good. Um, and then string hits I've got here. Wow. Yes. Ah, love it. Anyway, and all those together, you've probably heard it, but I'll play it for you nonetheless. Sort of a mess, but anyway, uh, it came out in the wash. So basically I played around with it and then the finale, I got some uh, multis involved, um, which were the evil battle multis. You can play these sort of things. Basically, I just wanted to add yet more to more. And then there's another one, Evil Battle again. So together, these multis, I'm just playing from the finale bit. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a sort of a big old melange of mess. Now, this is where uh, I basically tied it up. So as you can see, I literally took lots of animated bits that I liked and the multis, I just threw them at it. And then I um, split them all into audio files. So for example, this, you'd go to the mixer and I'd literally uh, go two, two, four, five, six, seven, all down here into separate um, audio files. Then, once I'd got all that mess, I would then hack. Hack away, get rid of the bits that I didn't like. And then I ended up with my bounces. So, whether this will play the whole thing in a mess, I don't know. Let's, should we see? Oh, there's the flute. So it's slightly messy. Oh, and I added some flutes, as you can probably tell. So just gave gave the blessed flute some runs and some. Yeah. Yeah, everyone needs a f running flute, don't they? And the tubular bells right at the end, don't know if you heard them. Uh, with the track, they were like this. Yeah, this actually didn't, it ended up taking me that long simply because I thought, well, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw all these bits at it and then just get rid of it. Rather than, I think it would have taken a lot longer had I gone, okay, each instrument, I need to just fine tune. I need to literally arrange it part by part. I think that would have taken me a lot longer. But the beauty of this is um, the speed at which you can do and and how inspiring it is. I hope uh, you get a vague idea of, of um, how inspiring this can be and uh, how useful. And I, I, I will stand by it. I think they are any library that basically gives you a drag and drop option 
to give you the option to go and get another library to play it. I think it's just, it makes me feel good. It's, it's heartwarming. For me, the engine is the inspiring bit. The, it's the creativity that you can just go, okay, I'm C minor chord, let's play chord blocks, and you've got a cue. Got an arrangement. Done. Um, fun. And then, obviously, these are the bounces. And, and for an orchestra of sort of mid-range to sound like this... I mean, I, I, I think, you know, I think that's, you know, pretty darn cool. I think the sound, I, I actually quite like the sound of it, um, considering it's a mid-range library and it's not a large, uh, it's not large CPU footprint and it's not a large gig um, sized library. Yeah, I think uh, I, I, I'm a huge fan, huge fan of this. So if you like this, if you like the track, get, do give it a like. Um, and if you like what I do, please, please, please subscribe and you'll be notified of anything else I do in the very near future. So I'll, as normal, I'll put the links down below where you can get these instruments and also the track so you, if, if, and also the stems and the track, if you should so desire. Um, but in the meantime, uh, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.